let's see something more about multiplying fractions so we know when we multiply a fraction by a whole number what we do is we multiply the numerator by the whole number and the denominator remains the same so what would happen if I'm multiplying a fraction with the whole number as 1 then the answer would be the fraction itself why because numerator multiplied by 1 would be the same numerator so that means my answer is same as the original fraction now what if the whole number is 0 that means you are multiplying the numerator by 0 0 multiplied by anything is 0 if the numerator is 0 the fraction would be 0 so the answer is 0 so what we know is we multiply a fraction by 0 answer will be 0 we multiply a fraction by 1 answer will be the fraction itself now let's see what we learnt when we multiplied two fractions what we did that time we multiplied the numerators and we multiplied the denominators so whether you multiply two fractions or three fractions or more fractions you always multiply all the numerators and you multiply all the denominators now can I multiply that in any order yes because multiplication can be done in any order but we get the same product the result is same so what we learn is that that when you are multiplying fractions you can multiply the fractions in any order and the product remains the same now let's see something more about fractions let's look at these two pairs the first pair is 2 over 3 and 3 over 2 the second is 4 over 7 and 7 over 4 now what do we observe here we see that the numerator of the first fraction is denominator of the second and the denominator of the first fraction is numerator of the second fraction that means basically we have interchanged the numerator and denominator to come up with the second fraction now when we do this this kind of fraction is called as reciprocal or multiplicative inverse of the first fraction that means 3 over 2 is a reciprocal of 2 over 3 or 4 over 7 is a reciprocal of 7 over 4 now let's multiply these two pairs and see what happens so if I multiply 2 over 3 and 3 over 2 my product will be 3 2s are 6 6 over 6 that means 1 and in the second case 4 7s are 28 and 7 4s are 28 so 28 over 28 that means 1 so my product in this case is 1 so what we see is that when a fraction is multiplied by its reciprocal the answer is 1 so that means if I have uh, two fractions and if I multiply those with each other and if the answer is 1 that means those two fractions are reciprocals or multiplicative inverses of each other now let's look at one more example now I have 1 over 3 and 3 over 1 their product is 1 can I write 3 over 1 also as just 3 yes 3 over 1 means 3 so when I multiply 1 over 3 by 3 the product is 1 that means 1 over 3 and 3 are reciprocals of each other now let's look at some more reciprocals now what would be the reciprocal of 5 that means what can I multiply with 5 to get the answer 1 that is 1 over 5 now what about 1 what can I multiply 1 by to get the answer 1 1 multiplied by 1 is 1 that means 1 is a reciprocal of 1 so 1 is a reciprocal of itself 
Now how about zero? What is the reciprocal of zero? Is there any number that I can multiply with zero and the answer will be one? No, because zero multiplied with any number is zero. So you cannot find a number that will give you the product as one. Therefore, zero has no reciprocal or you can say it does not have a multiplicative inverse. 